Happy Hump Day, Clads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's head to the cafeteria to find out what Miss Betsy has on the lunch menu today. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, we're having homemade pizza, so come on down, and there'll be lots of different toppings on them already, so enjoy. And then Thursday, we're having barbecue sandwiches. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please clear out your lunch charges by adding money to your account, and remember to to bring your purple, free, and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy so she can process those. Glads, here's a shout out video for our amazing teachers. Check it out. Hi, I'm Ethan Simon, and my reverse power ticket would go to Doc. Thank you, Doc, for understanding the speed that I need to go at and being a great teacher. Thanks, Doc. Hi, my name is Kara Thomas, and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Mendonca for always being polite and patient with our class, even though it's hard to put up with. My name is Kyle Stockhouse and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Cap because she always lets us help if there's nothing to do, really. Like, she usually lets us help out in the auditorium. I'm Sean Combs, my teacher power ticket goes to Miss Ford. I think she shows power, but she's always able to bring her students up, especially me. Uh, I've been very depressed lately and she's always able to get me out of that depressive state. And it means a lot to me because she's one of those teachers that shows that she cares for you and shows that she's always going to be there for you. So, uh, yeah. Remember, Glads, fill out your reverse power card and drop it in the box at the attendance office. We do the rest. If you haven't already purchased a yearbook, they are only $55 in the business office for a few more weeks. Prices will go up in December, so order yours now and save some money. Glads, college application deadlines are getting closer and we still have several colleges visiting us. Here's the lineup. Morningside College just scheduled a visit with us for tomorrow, Thursday, October 26th. And CU Denver is still in the books for Tuesday, October 31st. We have a new school kicking off November visits. The New York Film Academy scheduled a visit on Wednesday, November 1st, and Luther College will be here on Thursday, November 2nd. Remember, the reps from Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy will be here on November 8th and will be setting up a braid bar. Stop by to pick up information on the school and get your hair done too. November visits wrap up with Adam State on Thursday, November 16th. Seniors, we have two additional pieces of information for you. The financial aid night is tonight at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Stop by to get your questions answered about this very important process for college. And if you are taking the National ACT this coming Saturday, pick up a free test prep booklet from Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center so you can check out some sample questions. And as always, swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your hall passes for college visits. After the sports update, we're coming back with Halloween news for you. But first, here's Hannah Hall with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning to you, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall with your Gladiator Sports Update. The forensics team will be competing tomorrow in a Congress meet in Pueblo at Pueblo West High School. Good luck to the forensics team. Congratulations to the WHS marching band who made it to the state quarterfinals. They are competing this Friday at the D20 Stadium. If you can make it, come cheer on the band at state. Our Gladiator football team is bringing its 6-2 record to CA Foster Stadium this Friday to tackle Pine Creek Eagles. Come out and support the Glads in their quest to make it a memorable season. The game starts at 7. Our Lady Glads volleyball team posted a W on their season record with the win over the Harrison Panthers. Way to go, ladies. Our Lady Glad volleyball team brings their game back home tomorrow night against the Mitchell Marauders at 6 p.m. Ladies, if you haven't seen Miss Wickberg in room 110 for swim and dive information, the time is running out. Get over to see her so you can make a splash to the season. Ladies, your last basketball open gym will be tonight before basketball camp starts. The camp runs from Monday, October 30th to November 2nd. See Mr. Washington in room 115 for more information. Gentlemen, Coach Munoz is having an informational meeting on Wednesday, November 1st at lunch or after school in room 207. If you are interested in trying out for basketball, please attend one of those meetings. And speaking of the Munoz family, in case you haven't heard, Cole Munoz, one of our cross-country runners who placed first in Durango last week, has been nominated as this week's Extra Athlete of the Week. Be sure to vote for him at the website on the screen. Good luck, Cole. 
Winter sports athletes, listen up. Yellow cards and physical forms are now available in the main office. If you already have a physical on file, stop by to pick up your yellow card. Winter sports practices will start on November 10th. Finally, remember, on Friday, we will have a new health tip from Doc, so stay tuned for that. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. I'm Hannah. Have a great Wednesday. Now back to you, Moose and Daniel. Thanks, Hannah. Gladiator pop sockets are going fast. They're only $10 and are a great way to show your spirit. Spruce up your phone and help NHS raise some money. See Miss HK in the library to get yours today. If you need some new gladiator gear, check out the new school store. DECA and FBLA is selling gladiator gear before school on Mondays and Fridays and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. They have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, and baseball hats at very reasonable prices. Check out the inventory in the attendance or business offices. Here are your club and activities updates for Wednesday and Thursday. Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID like this one to stay and play or to work on homework. Wednesday meetings include 1 Club in room 5 at lunch with Mr. Sickmiller, DECA and FBLA at lunch in lab 159, tabletop games in room 160 from 3 to 5 p.m. Thursday meetings include freshman, junior, and senior councils at lunch. Freshman council meets in room 2, junior council meets in room 166, while the senior council currently meets in room 101 book club at lunch in the magazine room. Their next meeting is on November 9th. The pop orchestra meets in room 750 after school on Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. A quick reminder for students and teachers, choir will be gone on a field trip on Thursday and the marching band will be out after fifth hour on Friday to compete at state quarterfinal. As promised, here is the Halloween news before we go. The library is having a scary book contest for weekly prizes. It's simple to play and win. Just check out a book this month. Each book earns you an entry for prizes. Don't be scared. Check out a book today. It's a bit early to talk about final exams, but they are on the way. If you need some help with studying, raising your grade before the semester ends, or playing old tutoring, NHS wants to help. They are offering tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory. Sign up in the library on Thursday mornings, and remember the library will only be available on Thursdays for computer use and tutoring. And finally, <laughs> uh, Halloween uh, is uh, just uh, around the corner. Uh, uh. We can wear costumes to school on Tuesday. Here are a few simple guidelines. Please do not wear full facial makeup or mask. Costumes should follow dress code rules, and a costume does not excuse you from participating in classes like PE or shop. The rules are simple, so get your costume ready to go. We are looking forward to seeing all your costumes on Tuesday. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great week. Yes,